Hello everyone, we are taking this video for our online course Tourism, Global Trends and Issue Here is our topic, Mountain Nimba Mount Nimba is located on the borders of Guinea, Liberia and Cote d'Ivoire There are a lot of plants and animal species on this mountain Some of them are special species such as chimpanzees the strict nature reserve was established in 1943 in Cote d'Ivoire and in 1944 by decree in Guinea. The Guinean part was accepted as a biosphere reserve in 1980. Both reserves combined form one world heritage site since 1981 Guinea and 1984 Cote d'Ivoire. Mount Nimba serves as a refugium for numerous Western African species. Mountains contain species rich tropical forest at the height of 600 to 1000 meters and mountain grassland at the heights exceeding 1000 meters. Here have been found more than 2000 species of vascular plants. Oh Joe, I know you have some professional knowledge about the environment. Here I got some problems of the mountain Nimba. As the locals are very poor and their populations are speedily increased year after year, because they are lack of conscience and knowledge, they make a huge damage to the environment. So the situation is becoming more and more urgent. What do you suggest they can do it for it? Okay, for this issue, I think the first thing we have to do is to educate local people and control the population. Mm. We have to let them know every people have the responsibility for government and the society. They have to work, work together to solve this problem. And the government also can publish some laws to control the population. For example, the China use some laws to control the population. So I think it's a good example. Thank you, Joe. Thank you providing thank you for providing us the so, some suggestions about the population problem. You're welcome. Here we got another problem. It's about poaching. Poaching is a long term problem for this area. As there are lack of supervised, thousands of animals are being punched each year. So it will create a biodiversity problem to this area. What's your suggestion about this situation? Okay, for this issue, I think we have to make people know the animal and the plants make this place different. If they want to develop their uh, tourism industry in the future, they have to protect the animals and the plants. And for this issue, we think we can help some local people that also can increase the local incomes. So we can help some people to protect the animals and the plants. Yes. Okay, thank you. And it's a very good suggestion for hiring locals to protect their area. And also here are another problem. Some of the locals even burn the forest for space and then use the space for agriculture. It's a really dangerous act. It may cause a big fire in the forest. And also the coastal breeding, which is made by the locals for their foods, is making more and more damage on the glass. So what do you think about this? Okay, for this problem, I think the most important thing is money. First, the local government have to develop their ecotourism to get some incomes and then they can use this money to buy some high technology tools to help local agriculture and uh, on the other hand the government should spend money on educate local people to teach them how to use the right way to do their agriculture and uh, at the same time have to protect the uh, environment so that's the thing